Alex here, welcome back. And in this video, we're gonna finish up our jumping ball animation. And to do that, we're gonna use two principles. One is anticipation and the other is follow through. So let's jump straight onto our tablets. All right guys, so last time we left off with this simple jump, we have the stretch up into our jump and then the stretch down into our fall. But now we wanna make it look more realistic. So here's what I've done and this is what we're looking for today is we want a little anticipation. So it's another one of those principles at the beginning of our jump. So where he squishes down to actually propel himself forward. And then we need the follow through at the end. So the follow through is when the ball hits the ground, it's going to squish down a little bit and come back to its normal shape. So just like a person jumps, those same kind of ideas. So I'm going to stop my animation and I'm going to go back to my simple shape jump and we're just going to edit it to add in those extra features. So before this ball jumps, we need to add that anticipation or the squish down before it releases its energy to jump up. So to do that, I'm going to copy this first frame and I'm going to copy into a frame before the first one. So I'm going to add a couple before the first one. Okay, and I'm gonna do that, let's see. I'm gonna do that three times, okay? So now I have my first frame, the ball is where I want it to be. In my second frame, I'm gonna erase the ball and I'm gonna squish it a bit, little bit. So I'm just gonna draw the ball a little bit more squished down. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the third one, even a little bit more squished, okay? And then the fourth one, I'm gonna also erase the ball, but I'm gonna give it a little less squish so that it can get into that jumping, okay? That jumping action. So now if I start it, we get that little bit of anticipation where it scrunches down and then jumps up into the jump. So that's looking pretty good. So now we need to add the follow through because right now our ball just hits the ground and that's it, it just kind of sits there. So I'm gonna go to the end of my animation and I'm gonna duplicate this a couple times just so my ball stays where I want it to stay. And then I'm gonna go back to where I started duplicating. So the first one where it actually hits the ground and I'm gonna erase that one and I need to make it squish. So I want it to like squish down a bit into like a pancake. Okay, and I'm gonna do that for the next one. A little more squish. And then you gotta draw it coming back out of that squish. Perfect. And I'm going to add a couple more frames just at the end there just to make it sit there for a little bit before it goes back to the beginning. So now if we take a look, we've got our jump from the beginning. We squish down, jumps up into the air into that arc. We fall down and squish down onto the ground and bounce back up to our normal shape. All right, so that's how easy it is just to add that anticipation and follow through. They're super important principles because every action always has a reaction afterwards, okay? So make sure that you're thinking about how things work in real life. And even if you're animating and you want to make it more cartoony, over-exaggerate those steps of anticipation and follow through. All right, guys, have some fun. Make sure you subscribe below. Try out this animation for yourself, and we'll see you in some future videos. Bye.